हेलो स्टूडेंट्स अगेन आई वेलकम यू टू द ऑनलाइन वर्चुअल क्लासेस ऑफ आवर स्कूल सरस्वती शिशुकुंज और ग्वाला बोरसद इन टूडेज वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट वन कॉम्प्रीहेंशन पार्ट एंड द टाइटल ऑफ दैट टॉपिक दैट टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस इज नोटिस राइटिंग नाउ नोटिस राइटिंग इज दैट टॉपिक विच इज आस्ट फॉर Five marks in your examination, and I can say that this is one of the easiest question that is asked in your examination. Why? There are many reasons behind it, and I will tell you about that thing in our video. So, without wasting time, let us start our today's topics discussion. That is the notice writing. so as you can see here the title of the topic is notice before we start the notice writing you should have some idea about what is called notice now i know that you have heard this word notice many times in your life whether it is school or whether it is your regular life but you may have heard this word notice and yes you have also some idea that what is called notice you definitely can say that if something is written on the board giving some information that is known as notice you are absolutely right but here in terms of notice writing as far as our syllabus is concerned no doubt the main theme or the main object of notice writing is nothing but to inform something or someone about particular thing in simple words we can say like this but now today let us see in detail what is the proper meaning of notice how many types of notices are there not only that but even why the notices are written so in today's session we are going to discuss about uh, the purpose of no notice writing the meaning of notice writing the ways of writing notice structure and everything so let us start so here you can see the definition of notice what is called notice i am reading it a notice is a written or printed announcement for example a notice for sale so if something written on particular thing whether it is on board whether it is on a paper which is doing some count some kind of announcement that is known as a notice so when notices are written that is also given here it is written in order to inform a large number of people about something that has happened or about to happen so if you want to give information about something that may be going to be happen or which already has been happen at that time any person particularly the person who wants to inform he or she is going to write about it so i can say that the main purpose of notice is to give information about particular thing particular incident for other people not only that but also it could be an upcoming event competition lost and found and so many these are the particular uh, topics on which one can write notices going ahead or just a piece of information to be delivered to the targeted audience or it is just a kind of uh, you can say that a piece of information which is Uh, which uh, which per particular object is nothing but to inform people it is generally written in a formal tone formal tone that means very formal no extra things are added and formal language is been used so that is you can say formal notices are factual and to the point fact only fact must be included not only that but it must be to the point it means 
you don't have to add so many things in your notice just to the point give information along with it the language used in notice writing also must be simple and formal very simple language you have to use even an any illiterate person also can understand your language that kind of language you have to use and not a flowery flowery that means not with all the decoration it means high kind of language don't use advanced language use simple language they are put on a display boards in schools or in public places and only the reason that we have to use a simple language a formal language because it is going to be displayed on the board or in schools or in public places and that's why the language that is used in the notice writing must be very simple very easy now let us discuss the format for notice writing no doubt notices also can be written in a simple format but as far as we are discussing as per a syllabus we have to follow the format of notice writing and you have to take into consideration the following things for notice writing here you can see the format of a notice should include which are the things that must include in notice writing the first one is name of issuing agency so the title you can say that okay or who is writing the notice the name of institution whether it is school or any authority you have to write that thing second one date of issue release of the notice it means you have to show the date of the notice okay on which day you are writing the notice you have to write that then after the title or you can say the subject of the event for what you are writing the notice next you have to show that because without uh, title without the subject showing you cannot write the notice because it is useless why because you are not showing the topic you are not showing why you are writing your notice that's why the topic the title or you can say the subject of the event is very important the fourth thing that you have to take into consideration that is the main body it means now it is this part into which you are going to write about the main things of your notice it means your purpose why you are writing the notice in detail you are going to write it into that you can include date time duration place venue when and where these are the questions that you can ask while writing a uh, while writing the notice and particularly in the main body so here you are going to explain your whole notice and the last one that is not the list you don't have to forget that is authorized signatory it means name and signature and your contact details sometimes uh, it is okay just to write the name of the institution okay now here you can see the body or you can say the structure of notice writing so while writing the notice it is necessary that you draw a box like this in the very beginning you have to write the name of issuing agency or authority you may write the given name already in the questions or suppose if the given uh, name is not given in the question you can make your own whether it is school or any institution doesn't matter then after notice you have to show this okay that is quite important then date of issue and release of the notice you are going to write the date of the notice then after the title that means for what you are writing the notice then main body will be there into which you are going to write each and everything for what you are writing the notice and along with date time duration place and venue when and where and at last on the left side or in the right side you can write your authorized signatory that is name designation and signature of your own okay and suppose 
in the question if it already has given to you do write that thing at that time you don't have to make your own keep in mind this thing so this is the format this is the tru structure for notice writing so now let us see some of the example okay that uh, might ask in your examination so here you can see the question is given that water supply will be suspended for 8 hours 10 am to 6 pm on the 6th of march for cleaning of the water tank write a notice in about 50 words advising the residents to store water for a day you are karan kumar or karuna bijaj bajaj sorry secretary janta group housing society palam bihar karnul so here you can see that every kind of information is given to you whether it is the name whether it is you can say that uh, for what you have to write and everything what you have to inform everything is given in this notice as i have told you that you have to write the notice to the point the notice should be short you just have to follow the structure so here you can see that in notice only important things are taken into consideration not more things are written so let us see what has been written here regarding the question so in the beginning you can see the title it cannot be considered a title but authority name so here in the question you are already given the name and the name is like this that janta group housing society palam bihar karnal notice then after the date is given then after the title is something like this that is attention now why this kind of uh, title is given because here the person the secretary is taking the attention of the people of their society regarding which matter that the water is not going to come for one day and that's why they will have to store one day water into their tank and that's why this kind of title is given here now see what is written into the notice so to the point it is written no more things are added and only important things are found into it you also can see that i can i am reading it attention this notice is to inform all the residents regarding the suspension of water supply for 8 hours it is being done to clean the water tank and that is the reason that uh, for one day the tank is not going to filled up it is being done to clean the water tank the details are as follow now directly on the detail on which date it is going to happen so the date is 6 march time 10 to 6 pm thus we request you to store the required amount of water borehead to minimize the difficulty thank you and that's why some suggestion is given to the society members and what is that that to store the required amount of water beforehand okay and that's why some kind of uh, uh, difficulty cannot be faced by people so this is how to the point one can write the notice at the last as you can see the name is written and he is the secretary of the society that's why secretary and above it you can see the names of the secretary persons so friends this is how we can write the notice very simple thing just write only those things which you want to inform to people don't write too much things in your notice don't try to fill up your pages only mention the important things in your notice otherwise it will be considered as wrong now see for practice i have given you two questions the question are something like this that while walking in the park in your neighborhood you found a small plastic bag containing some documents and some cash write a notice in about 50 words to be put on the park notice board asking the owner to identify and collect it from you you are amar or amrita so here the question that is given to you into which you have to write 
some attentive notice okay you have to draw the attention of the people and it is to be written on the board that is in the park okay so keeping in mind that thing you will have to write this and second one now before we discuss the second i hope that uh, you know what are the things that is going to be discussed by you in this notice it is very easy only do mention the important things okay and please try to understand the topic for what it is that some plastic bag is there into which some documents and cash are there so you have to write notice regarding that thing that someone's important documents and bag is there into which something is found but yes before coming to him what the person has to do the person will have to come with the identity and it will be uh, it it will have to be collected from the authority so containing these points you have to write it and the second that is given here that you are asma or ashish the head boy or girl of xyz international school your school is soon going to publish the annual magazine next month write a notice for the notice board of your school inviting students to submit their write ups so it is regarding the school that your school is going to publish a magazine and uh, you have to write one of the articles for it so inviting the pupils you have to write the notice so here we complete our topic of notice writing we will meet soon in our next video with a new topic i hope that you understood what is been discussed by us so in your worksheet just write this only the format of uh, notice writing and then after directly write down the questions okay so see you soon we'll meet in a new video